Hi everyone, welcome to RD Technical Learning. So in this video, we are going to see a Java program, how to reverse words in a string. This is also most frequently asked Java interview question. So before we start writing a Java program, first we will see the explanation part. So let's get started. Suppose our input string is welcome to RD technical learning. So our output should be learning technical RD to welcome. So we just want to reverse words, not a character. So now let's see the logic. So in a program, very first, we will split the string and then we will get array of string and array and array starts from zeroth index so then our zeroth index element is welcome first indexed element is two second index element rd and so on so now we have array of string. So in the next step, what we want to do? We want to iterate the, all the elements from, uh, uh, from the array from the last index. Then what we will get? We will get fourth index element learning, then third index element technical, second index element RD and so on. And then we will get our output learning technical RD to welcome. So now let's see the program. So in Eclipse, I'm creating a new class. Reverse words in string. And I also select main method from here. Finish. Now our class is created. So very first in a main method, I am creating a string. I am initializing a string. Welcome to RD Technical Learning. Now In the next step, we will split the string using split function by spaces. So what I did, I split the string by spaces and then what it written? It written string type of array. So now we'll write string type of array and we take one variable split array and then assign this string array to split array variable. Now, now we will iterate this string array using for loop. So we will iterate this array from last index. So first we will take the 
length of this array. So by using length, we will get the length of array. So now in a for loop, we'll start iteration from last index. For that, we will take length minus one because, because the array index starts from zero. So that's why we take minus one here because the length of array is five but it starts from zero. So its la last index is four. So that's why we, we will take length minus one. Now I is greater than equal to zero. I minus minus. And then we will print each word from array. So for, th for that, we will write system dot out dot print and split array of i. With each time it print element, each time it print one element from last index. And then we can also give space here between two elements. So now we will see how this program will work. So the length of array is five. And uh, we have taken length minus one. So now I become four. Then uh, we checked condition 4 is greater than is equal to 0. Condition is true. So then it print split array of 4. Means what it print? Welcome. After that I'll write here. So after that, I value it become three now because of I minus minus. So three is greater than is equal to zero. Yes, condition is true. So now it print split array of three no first it will print learning then it print technical now the value is become two now we again check the condition two is greater than equal to zero yes condition is true so after that it print split array of two. What is split array of two? Rd. So now it will print Rd. Now the value of i is become one. Again, it check condition one is greater than equal to zero. Yes, condition is true. So now it print split array of one means it will print two now the value of i it becomes zero now it again check the condition if zero is greater than is equal to zero yes condition is true now it print sp split array of zero means 
वेलकम नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ आई इट बिकम माइनस वन इट अगेन चेक द कंडीशन कंडीशन इज फॉल्स आफ्टर दैट इट टर्मिनेट द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ दिस फॉर लूप बट वील गेट आउटपुट ऑफ अवर प्रोग्राम सो नाउ लेट्स चेक आउटपुट ऑफ अवर प्रोग्राम सी वी गॉट अवर आउटपुट लर्निंग टेक्निकल आर डी टू वेलकम सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग